Oh, hello everyone. It's Deb here. I got a message or a comment from Crafty Hodges uh, about the 2016 planner that I've been doing um, using Tangi Baxter's Tangible Plans. And she's having a bit of a problem. She says that her layers aren't coming in the same as Tangi shows. Um, so I'm going to try and help her out and um, I'll give you a few tips along the way. So I'm going to go into Photoshop right now and I'm going to open this folder. This is where I have all of the folders that I need for for uh, Tangi Baxter's Tangible System and I'm going into the letter size because that's what I use. And I'm trying to find multiples here. Just I have already done a video and then I thought oh maybe this was your problem so I'm coming back and I'm going to insert this in front of the other video just in case it is. So I've just picked out one and it doesn't matter which one but I see it needs four telephones. So I'm going to go back and find the telephones which are here and I want to see them pretty big and I'm just going to pick four. I'll pick that one. I'm holding down my control key. That's two. I'm letting go each time. That's three. I hold down the control key just to make sure I'm getting them all and that's four. Now I'm going to drag them all in here. Nothing happens at this point so I'm going to hit my enter key or you could use the checkbox but I the enter keys faster so I'm en enter once, twice, three times and four. Now I've got all four there and maybe this was your problem. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just going to put them in place just for one quick second here just to show you that they are here. And if that has helped you, that's great. I am going to go into the rest of my video now. I'm Xing out of that and I'm going to I'm going to go into the next part of my video. So this is my screen and usually what I do is I've opened up a folder down here you see that? I've just got it on the ready anytime I need it. Um, I normally have a second monitor but I'm not doing that today because a lot of you won't have a second monitor. Now Tangi's Tangibles, I've got them here. Um, that's what she says to call them, the Tangible System and I've got everything in that folder. I'm going to make it big just for one sec. So when I come into here, depending on if you're using a composition book, that's what you're going to go into is the, where it says composition right there. I use letter. So because I use letter, that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll look in here and normally I like to view it I'm going to make it extra large so that I can actually really see what I'm pulling out of here. Um, I'm just going to try and make this really easy. I'm just going to see how I just dragged that out. I'm going to do that one more time. And this is still highlighted so I'm just going to click on it once, drag it out till you see that plus sign with my arrow there and let go and there you have it. 
but I don't I pull it away from there because and I'll explain that to you in a minute the first thing I do is I will go to image duplicate I want to make a copy of that okay so I've made the copy I'm gonna this is the original I want to leave the original alone it is so easy so easy to save over your original so that's why I always make a copy so I'm working with this copy so even if I saved this it would save as letter 14 copy not over the original so at this point I'm gonna go back into here use my arrow key up up over here and I'm going to pull out something that is on here the bicycle the scissor actually there's two scissors there's a heart and a key so I would probably go to the for myself I would go to the bicycle because it's the biggest item here and again I want to see whoops um, I want to see I don't have it in the right place here I want to see it in the large size so I know exactly what I'm pulling out and I think I might want this one or maybe this one it has lines on it I don't know you can and as you see I'm gonna I'm going to show you something else she says she's having a problem doing what Tanji does I have Photoshop CC I am subscribed to Photoshop so I pay monthly for it I don't have elements so if I was to pick this and drag it and put it right over top of this it's going to go in there like that and I can say yes to that but I want to show you a different way you don't have to do it this way before Photoshop CC or maybe it was a newer I used to use Photoshop CS3 for many many years and that was not an it was not available to us at the time so all I used to do was just pull it into the this area here so that it's in behind do you see what I'm saying it's here now and I don't pull I I'm sure that you can pull from here in there but I got into the habit of pulling actually clicking on that and pulling it from here I don't know why I've done that that's just how I do it that doesn't mean it's right so we'll do it this way because see sometimes it works other times it doesn't I guess you have to make sure you're clicked on that first so anyways that's how I put it in there so I'm done with that one so now we've got that in there now we need two scissors I'm going back into my folders using my arrow key to go back to the list and I'm going to find scissors which is right here and I'm going to make them big as well because I like to see what I'm going to pull in we need two so I'm going to show you how I pull in two I think I want that one and let's just uh, no uh, that one and this one okay so I'm just going to grab that second one and it'll pull in two there's two here now see here's one and here's the other one so you still get them Tangie's way is faster but maybe elements doesn't do that I don't know so one scissor I'm gonna put
put up here. I don't know why it did that. That's weird. <laughs> there we go. And sometimes I'll resize them. Sometimes, not always. I, I like to leave some white space a lot of times. So that looks pretty good to me. So we've done that one. I'm Xing out this one here. I'm going to click on it once and drag it in down here. And if like I'm having a hard time with my with my mouse. So I'm going to use my arrow keys just to nudge that. You see that? I'm just using arrow keys. I can nudge that left, right, up, down, <clears throat> get it right into the place I want it. Okay. And so we're done with the scissors and I'm Xing out of that. Now we're going to look for the keys. So I'm going back into my folder using my arrow key to go back and look for keys. Key. There we go. I only need one. I'm going to make this just a wee bit smaller so that I can fit it in my window. And we're just going to look through here and pick one. And for this tutorial I think I'm going to use this one and drag it right in put it in place. I know that Tanji can do that. Maybe you can too. I, I don't know. If you can't, just pull it into here. Like I say, just pull it in to here and then you can you can grab it. You don't even have to. I'm going to get rid of this just to show you this. You've pulled it in. It's It's in behind what we're working on. but I've touched something else. This is what would be here and I would just bring it in. That way you don't even have to you don't even have to touch this except X out of it when you're done with it. You, do you see what I mean? That's why I keep this pulled away so that everything pulls in in behind and I can X out when I'm done. So now we're looking for the heart so back in here, go up here to your arrow key, back to the tangible system, and we're looking for heart. There we go. I like them big. So I'm just going to look and see. And I love her little houses that she's got. So I'm going to just pull that in. Do you see how that's here right there? Right ready for me. I just take it from there, pull it in over here, and there it is. And then I just, if it's if it's tough to get it exactly where you want it, just use your up and down arrows. And I just X out. So now all we have left is this arrow. So in here I'm going back to the tangible system and I'm looking for arrows. There we go. Now, mine will look a little different than anyone else's because I made my own date thing. Um, so I'm just going to pick something that she's got here. Let me see. Up and going, I like that. So I'm just going to let that go in behind and you see it's sitting right here. I'm just going to drag it right from there, right over and drop it in place. And this one here, I might, I'm using my arrow keys to get it just right for myself. Now, I am turning off the background because that's going to be all white. Like when you save this as a JPEG, 
and that's what you should save it as as a, as a JPEG or if you don't want to save it as a JPEG and you want to save it as a PNG file I would give it a, a new layer I'm just kind of complicating things for you actually by doing this but I'm showing you something go to your black and white over here switch them so that the white is in your foreground and all you need to do at this point is get your paint bucket tool and there's your background that's how it's going to look if you want to know how it's going to look before you save it that's how it's going to look if you and that actually ensures that if you've accidentally left this background on it's not going to matter because you've got this white and you see I see that this in particular is down too low so I'm just going to use my arrow keys and move it up can you see that right here it was down here I'm using my arrow keys I'm gonna bring it up and for myself I have styles and I like to use styles and if I hover over this um, you can look these up if if you can use styles in elements uh, they're awesome this is for paper so um, if you watch this I'm gonna put a style on it just to give it a bit of a shadow see see the shadow there now um, I'll take the shadow off by just dragging it into the garbage can here see how it's just laying there I like to add a paper shadow to that and you can do that to many of them and it and it does help um I'm just thinking what else can we do with this because I know that Tanji has has more um let's get out of here and let's go into the extras or the word art maybe word art um See, I always like to buy have my groceries because <laughs> I do and my grocery lists are usually pretty big but for this I'm just going to put them down here okay now you see that's gonna be hard for me to grab a hold of with my mouse so I'm gonna use my arrow keys because I kinda I'm just gonna eyeball it and sort of center it I mean I could use this up here but I don't bother I really don't I don't I don't use uh, these up here for this little thing if I have three or four things that I'm going to uh, center on a page I do that but not just for one item I'm gonna go in again and um, I'm just gonna pull this one out I wonder I'm gonna put that in right on there and see I can just X out of that and it's gone and basically that's how tangible plans Tangie's Tangie Baxter's tangible plans work um, I hope that this has helped you I hope that this has helped anyone uh, in Photoshop uh, it's given you a little bit of knowledge I hope just leave a comment I would sure appreciate it if uh, anyone else needs any help with Photoshop I don't mind doing quick little tutorials like this at all okay so I'm gonna sign off now bye for now